original as you can expect to get out of me. <laughs> uh, but I think we're good. Uh, I think things are going to be okay and smooth sailing from here on out, actually. <clears throat> um, are we starting late? I hope not. Okay, a couple minutes. A couple minutes. Listen, it was a very bold move for me to try to stream a little bit earlier than my normal time. <laughs> So as you could have expected, I wasn't on time. But hopefully, what you, you should be able to see me now, and you should be able to hear my voice, uh, and that's pretty much about it. I got a glass of water today. Because I always get so parched trying to do these things. So, <clears throat> what is most important immediately is for you to confirm that you can hear my voice. You can see things and stuff, including this... Uh, box over to the left, which is where our game is going to be today. And uh, a new little feature that I wanted to try out, putting the chat uh, on my actual computer screen. I don't know, like a thing that a real streamer does. <laughs> because Paper Mario, as you will know, the original, is uh, a f 4 by 3 aspect ratio game, I think. <laughs> Is the correct? It, it's not widescreen, is the thing. So we have some extra space, and I thought, you know what? I think the sidebars on the Nintendo Switch are pretty ugly looking, so I think that I have cropped this correctly to uh, align perfectly with the Paper Mario. So before we get started, let me go through my hellos. Pyro Demon Eye, I am so happy you are here. I am equally as hyped. Uh, J Dove, you love this game. Well, listen. I, I've, I'm playing a little bit out of order. I started with Thousand Year Door, then circled up to uh, Super Paper Mario, and now we're gonna bring it all home. And I should do the one that started it all because it's coming out today. Cosmetology Corner, I am so happy that you managed to escape from work for this. <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic. Santa is real is in the chat, and not at all a name that is controversial. He's been waiting for this. The original Paper Mario is so good. I'm excited. I did play this one a little bit as a kid, but I'm excited to now go back into it as an adult. Like a boss says, hello, chat. Chat, say hello to like a boss. <laughs> um, Josh Scott. I know, I know, I'm a little bit late. I know, everyone's gonna give me some crap for that. But I'm here, okay? And Gabo Gabito says hi, too. And we have to get into the game fast, because I want to try to get at least, you know partially started <laughs> and I do know that um a as you guys know I am driving to Rochester today so that's gonna be important um oh I wonder if I should bring move my chat up just a hair because uh I don't want my head to cut off the bottom there um it's my first time doing this cut me some slack <laughs> all right let me pull up the game we're here we're ready it's loading uh, and I think this is gonna be fantastic. It, that is, if the, uh, game has music and volume. So this is the other thing we're looking out for. Because I haven't tested it. Can you hear this? Today. <clears throat> Alright, I'm in the mode. I'm going to tell you the story of star spirits and good wishes. Far, far away, beyond the sky, way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully. Very carefully. Oh my god, it's Cammy! And then, I'm sorry, <laughs> the dialogue goes by really fast. Oh dear, what's the... <laughs> yeah, I did it! Oh, there he is! <laughs> so I can at long last beat my arch rival Mario! I'm gonna take this star rod! I love that she's just taped on there. Get him, Kami Koopa! Oh, look at his adorable Nintendo 64 face! Oh, God, I'm so used to playing the higher quality games that, uh, I'm, I'm so excited for these sprites. Yeah! Now let's try using it! Oh, disaster is struck right away. All of our stars. Oh my god, these are the Mario Party 5 stars. <laughs> Whoa, we did it! Which means they've clearly originated from this game, not Mario Party 5. It was a piece of cake, actually! Well, I'm gonna fly away in my little clown car. I'm so happy that Cammy's alive again. She was gone in super. Now, star kids may rise to the heavens. 
for to grant wishes, but those wishes will not be granted because there's no star rod. Whatever are they going to do? Honestly, it's a disaster. J Dove, there's a really there's a couple of really good mods for this game that I might look into after we finish this, because uh, you guys know I'm a huge Paper Mario fan, and uh, I, I guess that resides to the original trilogy. God, look at how charming this is. These little sprites and ah. Oh! Look at this. All right, well, spoilers, though. Let's, uh, relax. <laughs> All right, you guys can hear the game, and the game sounds to be at a, at a decent volume in comparison to my voice, I'm hoping. Um, on my end, it looks like the game volume might actually be a little bit low, um, visually, from what I can see. So if you think it's low, let me know. I'm more than happy to turn it up. We can absolutely do that. Um... Technically, they have the same names, but the Mario Party 5 stars are called the Star Guardians. Ugh, oh, they've been retconned, have they? <laughs> uh, let's start a file. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. This is gonna be the best file. It's gonna be Captain F of Gaming. F Gaming. I can spell. Oh, oh nope, not that. <laughs> Maybe I should use the. Oh, I can't even use the D pad, honestly. Oh, God, putting in names back in the old school days. You know, <laughs> the most reliable thing about the Nintendo Switch and touch... I can talk, you guys. And touch screen controls is supposed to be being able to touch letters to type. But here we are, kicking it like it's the year 2000, scrolling through... Oh, there's not even enough room! Well, frig. I don't think it matters though, this isn't like Legend of Zelda, our name doesn't actually show up anywhere, to my knowledge, so I think it'll be fine. <laughs> it's not worth going back and trying to put in something else. <laughs> uh, game volume sounds fine too, Pyro Demon Eye, okay. I will trust you. <laughs> uh, Black Pit and Dark Star Edition are my favorites, but they're PC emulator only. Oh. No F off today. Matthew Peters, so this is a new thing. I'm starting, it's my New Year's resolution. I'm starting it a little bit early. I'm gonna try to not swear as much, <laughs> all right? This is gonna be a family-friendly stream because I used to be a science teacher. I'm rebranding my image. Don't ask me about my accounting job. <laughs> all right, first play, let's do it. Ah, you loved my Thousand Year Door Let's Play? But you couldn't watch Super Paper Mario because spoilers, right? Oh my god, it's a uh, Perry the Platypus mail call. So, so Thousand Year Door started off literally identical to this. Ah, oh, Luigi. But there's something so charming about these old school sprites. I gotta say. Ah, uh, hey Mario, we got a letter. It's from Princess Peach, actually. I was gonna do my grass joke, which is a running gag I have for Luigi, but he hasn't played grass yet, I don't think. That doesn't happen till Thousand Year Door. I'll just read it to you, okay? Alright, uh, let's see. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach! Wait, nope, wrong game. Um, I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you could both attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Good for you! Should we start making a pool for how long it's gonna last? Alright, Matthew. Start your bets now in the chat. <laughs> Honestly, that might be kind of fun. What if we had like a communal tip jar? Or a communal, like, swear jar, and every time I swear, I have to, like, give away money from it. <laughs> it's probably setting myself up for failure. Stephen Lee, hello, welcome to the chat. Look at this little town. Oh, it's so blocky. It's so nostalgic. It's so old. Oh, and the castle. It's the best. I'm so happy to be doing this. 2000 is the Japanese release year. 2001 is the American release year. You guys got the fun facts. Hit me with all of the fun facts. Again, spoilers, please avoid. Even though I technically kind of played this game, um, it's been so long ago, I clearly don't remember the details. I know the generic plot. I think Bowser's gonna kidnap the princess, and we're gonna go to Worlds to help her. <laughs> but such is the nature of Mario games. Um, but if you have, like, fun trivia facts about various aspects of, like, game development or cool little 
things that don't really affect the story, drop those in. I'd love to learn. Go to Peach's room and talk to the Toad Guard five times. I'll try to remember that. Oh, what a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks like a lot of guests are already here, brah. It does- Okay, we've got movement. Let me practice with my- my controls. Can I do anything other than move and jump? Maybe not. Guys, I have a pro controller now. I'm upgrading in the world. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to people. Uh, this Toad, what do you got going on? They're having a whole conversation. Mario, you're looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? Okay. Great. Ooh, you got a spear. Welcome to Peach's Castle. Fantastic. Alright, who looks interesting? Listen, we're gonna be a socialite, alright? We're starting off the game, I need to make a good impression, alright? When you get invited to a party, you have to make your rounds, you gotta talk to everybody, everybody who's important at least, and you gotta get the good information. Ah, salutations, Mario. Do you know Frosty here? He's come all the way from the Shiver region, which lies far to the north of here. Oh, a Canadian, eh? Oh yeah, Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, eh? Just as I was told, it was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiver region someday. <laughs> now what I want you guys to do after this is go back to my Thousand Year Door Let's Play and see how little uh, I've improved in, in doing voices. I think I got worse, actually. <laughs> hey, uh, Mario, uh, I hope you brought an appetite. <laughs> There's so much food here. I already ate way too much though. Uh, I'm taking a little breather. Well, uh, that's enough of rest. I'm hungry again. Let's eat the buffet table. All right, perfect. Actually, I'd like to know where the booze is, if I may. Oh, hello. Are you running the kitchen? Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm Tasty. I really love to cook. You may not know this, or, but uh, I cooked all the food for this big party. But, oh dear. I got so into my cooking that I used up all my ingredients. Now I have to go shopping! Wow, the plight of this woman. You know what? Why are we even going on an adventure? I would like to know the adventure of Taste Tea. What do you have to do to get these things? I want to go on your shopping journey. <gasps> Cosmetology Corner! Loving this already. Good. <laughs> Is my chat cut off a little bit? Do I have to move this over a hair? <laughs> Ugh, I'm so unprofessional. It's so tragic. I've been practicing cooking. I hope that someday I get good enough to cook food as delicious as taste teas. Do you know how to cook, Mario? You really ought to learn. Personally, I think cooking's exceptionally fun. Alright, that's fantastic. You know what? I'm glad that Nintendo was so progressive to have a male toad cooking in the year 2000. Alright, this is the kind of representation that we need in the world. Alright? Taste tea is zest tea's twin sister. Interesting. Oh no, I didn't mean to talk to you actually. I need to make the rest of- Oh, sir, ma'am, whatever you are, stop. <laughs> All right, we got a we got other people to find, other people to socialize. All right, that's a locked door, so you know what's going on in there. That's the secret room. All right, generic toads bore me. I am not interested in talking to them. But you ladies look fancy. I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you this morning, Mario. She's been restless, <laughs> if you know what I mean. How cute. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, she's gonna be thoroughly disappointed because in my multiverse theory, uh, this Mario is a continuation of me, which means he is in fact a homosexual. We're only gonna hit on the men in this universe. We're not gonna hit on any of the women. So Princess Peach is just gonna have to get used to that, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Peach's castle forever, you know? Yes. Hello, sir, what's up? Well, Princess Peach just went into her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. You should go enter her private chambers, Mario. <laughs> you don't need consent or anything. Just just waltz right in there. It's fine. Um, it's not the worst Canadian accent. Definitely heard worse. Canadian Swedish was me. Whoa, excuse me. You could give Toadsworth a run for his money. Look at that stash. <clears throat> oh, greetings, Mario. I am the minister of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. Fantastic. Uh, oh, hello. I came from a desert town called Dry Dry Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous, so cool and comfortable. I even got a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor. 
When I return to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm going to tell everyone about it. Fantastic. So are these all the worlds we're going to be going to, actually? Josh Scott, you're doing pasta and making laundry at the same time? That's an interesting combination. What have you missed? Literally nothing. I'm being a socialite at the party. I have a desire to be popular. So actually, this is Paper Mario, the simulation game of going to a party and talking to people. We're just making small talk. It's all we're gonna do. Uh, aren't you glad you chose my stream to watch? We're gonna make no progress. L let's not even pretend like we were going to. Oh, everyone I met in this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this place my home away from home. Great. Can I go in this door? No. Uh, can I go in this door? This is how I am at real parties, actually. If you invite me to your house, I'm just going to wander around and try to go into all of the rooms possible. Let's <laughs> see what happens there. Uh, does Princess Peach have a special man in her life? Yeah, it's me, actually. It doesn't- don't mind the fact that I'm gay. It's common back in the early 2000s. It happened to a lot of women, alright? It's called living in denial. Hi, boys! What's going on? Oh, I came from Koopa Village, uh, which is just down the road from here, actually. Oh, I just had the honor of talking with Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is! You know what is also interesting is that in this fictional universe, the figureheads and the people in power, like Princess Peach, they don't seem to be controversial. Like, she's universally loved. And think about in the world of politics, in the real world, what figurehead exists in the entire world that is universally loved? Nobody. Everybody's controversial. I want to hear about the controversy of Peach. I am here on behalf of the lovely Shiver City. I am the mayor there, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with Frost Tea. Oh, oh, you're connected with Frost Tea. Okay. Hey, girl, you're kind of cute. How's it going? Hi, Mario. I'm always on the cutting edge of fashion, and I must say, your outfit is just fabulous. <laughs> it really suits you. Thank you. Can I go in any of these doors? No. Over here? That's the tea. We stan a beard. Maybe. I think you might have read that statement backwards. Which statement? Talk to the guard five times to get access to Peach's room. Nothing related to it, so it's not a spoiler. Is this the guard? Let me... Oh, sir, I just want to talk to you, actually. This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't in here at the moment. Alright. Oh, no, no, absolutely not! I don't think it's very polite to go into a room without asking her for a smart- Well, that's what I was saying. Alright, that's time two. Time three. I SAID NO! And that means no! You are simply not allowed to go in there. Pretty please? I SAID NO! And that means no! Oh. Okay, so now it's repeating. Oh boy, you are persistent! Fine, I guess I have no choice. Hurry up in there, though, and don't touch- Wow, what a fantastic guard, actually. Okay, I'm so happy that the princess is probably paying him a fortune. Okay. Well, hunty, guess what? I'm gonna go on the panty raid now. I'm gonna get some Mr. Krabs here. Oh, here we go! I found it! Her dresses are beautiful, but they all look the same. They must be her favorite style of dress. Ew. Alright, that's kind of boring. Can I open these drawers? Ma'am, what you hiding in here? Okay, I just want to look. Alright, can I look in here? Oh, what's this? It's a framed photo of me! Oh my god, she's so obsessed with me. Why are you so obsessed with me? What a big fireplace, and what a cozy fire! Oh, it is a pretty nice, uh, room. It looks a little bland, to be totally honest. I would have figured she would have had a little bit more going on here. Ooh, the bed. Uh, Josh Scott, my statement. You said I was doing pasta and making laundry when it was the other way around. Oh. <laughs> Pardon me. Alright, it's a fluffy bed. I stand for that. That's fantastic. And it's a vase full of lovely flowers. They smell heavenly. Alright, well, Princess, you and I can't get along because the Lord knows I can't keep a plant alive to save my life. Alright, well, we checked out her room. I'm happy that we did this. Oh, look, it's the castle! In, like, watercolor. Water paint. Finger paint. I don't know. Well, how was it? To tell you the truth, I've never seen the inside of her room. I've seen the inside of her- never mind. <laughs> Ooh, family friendly, you guys. Family friendly, boys. All right. Girl, where does she be at? She's not even in her own, uh, room? Glazed Honey, hello! Welcome to the chat. Uh, I'm just a trainee, sir. God, there's so many guests. My heart's been beating like a bass drum ever since this morning. Thump, 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 thump. Thump, 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 thump. All right. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get you in trouble. All right, generic toads bore me. I'm uninterested in speaking with you. 
This is my problem with the new Paper Mario games. You have to look like a character to draw my attention. You have to, or you have to have a weapon in your hand. <laughs> That'll also do the trick. Princess Peach just went into her private chambers just now. How many private chambers does she have? I was just in her most private of chambers, I'll have you know. God. Ooh. How nice would it be to live in a ca Actually, let me tell you guys a fun fact. We're at the risk of giving away too much about my location and where I live. <laughs> I live relatively close, and I'll leave it vague like that, to a actual, like... I, to what I would describe as a castle in Buffalo. Um, it's more like a fortress, but it looks very much like a castle. I should get a picture of it sometime and put it up for you guys. Make mistakes! That's always my motto. Mine too. Oh, Mario! You came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. Ah, uh, look at her more natural hair color. This must have been before Nintendo forced her to dye it blonde and bleach it over and over again till she ruined it. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Yes, this is my vibe entirely. At a party, if I can just break away with somebody into a private space and ignore everybody, perfection. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? I guess. Oh, I guess it's starting, boys. There we go. I, oh, God, wow. Bowser's castle is like kind of giant. Oh! And there's a whole nother clown car underneath it. Oh, okay. Oh, Princess, you run like such a lady. Oh, Mario doesn't, though. Did you see those hands in the air? Alright. Well, we are uh, five minutes into this and we're in space. Actually, just kidding. We should have been five minutes into this. I think we're like 20 minutes into this. <laughs> oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh, my. Look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Wow, princess. Did you go to college for that kind of education? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach! Bowser! But... This can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I lifted the castle right up into the sky. <laughs> it's sitting on my castle now. We weren't expecting that, were ya? Oh, this castle's under my control now, <laughs> my dear. Now, you're gonna obey me. What? <laughs> oh, it's Mario. What a shock. <laughs> Not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. Just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? Man, don't you feel kind of bad for Bowser? <laughs> true, true. I've had my problems in the past, but this time's different. This time, I'm gonna win. Alright, tough guy, let's go. Don't you worry, I'm gonna. It's fighting time! Mario, you can do it! Alright, thanks, girl. Alright, we can jump! And do nothing else. Oh, here we are! We're in the riveting gameplay. Can I block? Oh! Not very well. Uh, let me try again. No. Can I do some action commands? No. Oh, okay. Um, action command. Nope. <laughs> Can I do no action commands? Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me like a boss. Oh no! Oh no! Bowser! He's mad on guard! In disguise! <laughs> Yeah, if you guys watch my uh, Phoenix Wright streams, I think I'm leaking Matt On Guard into Bowser. Honestly, I think I'm okay with that vibe. I like the Matt On Guard voice, and I don't really remember the voice I used to do for Bowser. <laughs> All of my voices are pretty much honestly the same, <laughs> with just like the tiniest hint of a change in dialect. <laughs> There's no action commands until post-prologue. Oh, what a farce. 
All right, take a look at this. Look what I stole from the Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Wow, he sparkles. <laughs> How do you like that? Um, I don't know, actually. You look kind of nice. Oh! I don't like it very much, actually. I gotta be honest with you. All right, we're in danger. Princess, you know, you actually were kind of a boss in Super Paper Mario. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm a little disappointed to see your ass sitting there doing nothing at all, but just watching me get my ass handed to me. Ugh. Like, sweetie, can, can you do something? Can you pull out that parasol? Or the Vibe Scepter. I know that's a thing you've had before. Um, sorry, checking my phone. <laughs> yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore. It's time to end this. This is how powerful I felt after coming out of the closet. <laughs> Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh! Alright. I was already dead. Can you talk about overkill? Oh no! Mario! He's broken! <laughs> Yeah, I did it. I finally did it. I beat my old rival, Mario. Yeah. Ah, Lord Bowser. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. Uh, Kami Koopa, the original Wendy old bag. As long as I have this star rod, everything I uh, wish was going to come true. No one can stop me now. Well, I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Ah! I was already dead! Have no mercy on my soul. Oh no! Mario! I'm so sorry that I didn't do anything to help you at all! That's the tea. Comes out of the closet. Gains ability to breathe fire. I guess there is a convenience to being paper. You can fall from extraordinarily large heights. Oh, we've made it to the title, boys! Paper Mario, 30 minutes in, and I got us to the title of the game. Prologue, a plea from the stars. We're just starting the prologue. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Alright, let's kick into it. It's a very green forest. I like this theme. It's calm and relaxing. All right, stars, are you gonna come save my day? Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the Star Rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Now everybody, calm down. Court is now in session for the trial of wits. That's not what I'm doing here. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. Jacob Welsh! If you don't press uh, the button for a little bit at the start of a chapter, you can hear the rendition of the original Super Mario Bros. theme. Oh, I'll try to remember that for uh, the next chapter, for chapter one. Phew! That's it. That's all we can do right now. Now, Mario, please get up. Please. God damn, can we take a moment to appreciate Mario's dump truck of a butt? Like, do you see- do you see the hump on it? Someone programmed that, you know. It really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. Uh, wait, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only, uh, Mario guy. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Uh, hey! Wake up! Come on! Up and at him! Oh no! He won't wake up! 
Wow, the amount of characters that drop the oh no, no line is quite a lot. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goompa! Goombario! Someone do something! By the way, should I SOP? SOP? SOAP? SOP? What, what is SOP? I'm Eldestar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. Spill the end? No, of course you should not spill the end. Don't do something like that, that's no fun. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Oh, this looks like a really comfy bed, actually. <laughs> All right. We're in the house of Toad. Oh, Mario. I'm so happy to see you awake, I mean. Yeah, don't mind me. I just put you in my bed while you were passed out unconscious. <laughs> um, You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. Oh, this place? This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents here are me and a single family of Goombas. Wow, that must get lonely. How do you guys reproduce? <laughs> you know what, that's none of my business. The Goombas in this family are just the nicest folk you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest, and they carried you here to get better. Hmm, oh. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? Nah, I didn't see anything like that. And I sure didn't see anyone come out in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario. Maybe you're just a lunatic. I, I mean, maybe you just had a dream. <laughs> J Dove! I'm helping my girlfriend set up her computer. She has the tech skills of a baby. Hey, listen. Not all of us can uh, do all of the tech things and stuff. <laughs> I try to make the most by doing the least. Although, maybe not. Could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in star heaven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. I guess so. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Alright, I'll try to do that. <laughs> Let me just get my way out of here and learn my wits about myself. Um, let's check it out. We got a gate. Ah, oh, we got Mama Goom over here. Gotta check in with her, of course. Can I shake bushes? Yes, I can. Hello! Oh, land sakes! Mario! So nice to meet you, Ma! I'm so glad you woke up! I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long! <laughs> oh, man. So much dialogue. I forgot that this was the thing. Oh, hey, Mario. I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, dude. Seriously! Alright, buddy. I think you're gonna be my first companion, actually. I saw the spoiler. <laughs> Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest and didn't open up your eyes at all the whole time, you know? Okay, girl, that's enough. <laughs> it's enough out of you, actually. Oh, a save block. All right, now I feel like I've made some progress. We've saved. Yes, please, let's save. It's very important for me. All right, what's going on with you, dude? You okay? <clears throat> oh, howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. Wait, you what? Oh, you have to leave right now. Oh, Shooting Star Summit. Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the sky was falling. Just relax and don't worry. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Now what? is a jiffy. Does anybody know? I, I feel like that is an actual measure of time. I, I feel like I was taught that at one point. Is it a couple of seconds? Is it a second? Is it less than a second? Is a jiffy part of a second? Who knows and who can tell me this information? Uh, is it is your name Ian to the max? Is you, I, I'm a little confused on how X's work in names. <laughs> 
I didn't play enough Kingdom Hearts as a child, so I never learned the philosophy behind that. Have you played this before? I've played Paper Mario a little bit as a child, but um, I clearly don't remember enough of the details about the game, so like, this is kind of, I would say it's like blind-ish. Um, Josh Scott, does anyone have any evening plans? I know George is braving the snow, but how about- yeah. Driving out to a whole nother city. Wish me luck. <laughs> Pray that I don't get stuck. But yeah, I hope you guys have some good fun plans. 1% of a second? J-Dub, is that correct or are you just talking out of your ass? <laughs> I think it's less than a second. That's what I think too, but I don't know if I'm just making that up. Oh, Mario. Hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. <laughs> Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombaria. Why, she's just like I- she looks just like I did when I was young. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to be an old person that talks to young people about how I used to look like a young person, too. That's gonna be my whole personality when I'm old. Whoa, sir, what are you doing on this balcony? Oh, hello. Oh, you startled me. Mm, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good! Knew you'd pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather. So I'm Goompa. Yes. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Mm, the veranda? Alright, well listen, you want to be fancy about it, that's fine by me. Um... I'm just gonna snoop through your uh, medicine cabinet over here. Take your pills away from you, actually. It looks like there's a bit too much going on in here. Uh, so what am I supposed to do? Oh, Mario! My dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. So, I guess you can travel to East Toad Top. And Shooting Star Summit, huh? Yeah, th these are the things that I'm reading. Um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um... J Dove, I make codes, I know what I'm talking about. And then, uh, person whose username I can't read. Uh, I will ask you very kindly to try to, again, don't do spoilers for things. I know this is just a Mario game, so it doesn't matter too much, but the thing is, I'm not a popular streamer, which means I don't have, like, chat moderators. So I don't really have anybody who has, like, the job of protecting the chat from spoilers and stuff. But it tends to rub a lot of people the wrong way, so I'm just asking you to have the decency of your heart to, like, we're going to avoid anything that could be considered a plot spoiler. Um, I know I'm not completely blind to this game, but some people might be, and it's just... People on in general tend to not like that kind of stuff. Josh Scott, you're going to hang out with someone and make some content. Or at least you hope so tonight. I hope so, too, for your sake. Um, oh, what a job! <clears throat> I'm sorry. Sorry to have kept you waiting. The gate is finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you. But duty calls. I know. Come back for a visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. <laughs> oh god, the wicked witch of the Koopa clan is here. <laughs> ah, my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're such on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. Listen, ma'am, taking beatings from big hairy men is what I do for a living. <laughs> you're a hardy one, all right. I was smart to come here and check on you. What? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? j -Dub. spoiler alert! The goal is to rescue Princess Peach. What? You don't say. You rude little! I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name! Kami Koopa! Oh, her first introduction. I'm in love with her, actually. Hmm. I wish I had the time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous and laughable. Yes. Sorry, I don't know how streaming works. I tried to put someone in a timeout. <laughs> I don't know what that is, and I don't know if I did it successfully. 
But th these are the- th this is like a learning experience for me, all right? But I gave you a warning! I said no spoilers and you are testing me! <laughs> Mario, hear this! It is useless for you to try to save Princess Peach! Ridiculous! Laughable! As you've seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with at this time. So, here's a gift from him. Oh. It's a block. Solid gift, I guess. I thought she was going to crush us with it, but I guess the gate's fine too. <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser has made. Your world is ours now. <laughs> Goodbye. Oops. There I go. <clears throat> I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Kami Koopa, that fiend! Did you hear what she said about the princess? Didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. W what? Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach. Again? Zoinks! <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? Oh, unbelievable. And now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? This is what we call exposition. <laughs> um... This could be a problem. Dad, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Um... Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goompa's hammer. I think he was using it now to fix the veranda. Oh, you know what? That's totally right, actually. He seems like he's not a very important character. I'm sure it's no trouble at us at all for us to just go and be like, Hey, dude, I understand you're working on the veranda, but I kind of need your hammer. So can you, like, stop doing what you're doing and do what I want to do? Because I'm more important than you. Lovely, then it's agreed. You'll go ask him for it. Yes. Jade of Gate, 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 gate. <laughs> All right, hello, Guma. I'm about to go out back on the veranda with your lovely husband, but don't worry about what we're doing together. It's actually a private man-on-man -man moment, so it's- Oh my goodness, where did it go? <laughs> Can't help but feel like we fall a lot in these video games. It's a very unfortunate situation. And when I drink, you gotta drink pinkies out. I learned that from SpongeBob. Alright, buddies. Where are we going? We're gonna find a man. Oh, hello! Oh, my back. Who's that? Is that you, Mario? I remember a great crashing noise and then the veranda collapsed and I fell. Did you fall too? Oh, just stepped out the door into thin air, did you? Yeah, I did, actually. Also, um, your son who fixed the gate, that got smashed too, so I'm very sorry. This whole Goomba village has really just fallen apart in the... 30 seconds that I've been here. Well, we're both okay at least. Problem is, we can't get home because that block is in the way. I see. This block hmm, shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course! Uh, where did it go? I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, nowhere to be seen? I guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we'd better look for it. Yes, and by we, I trust you mean me. I- ooh. ooh the world is falling. Hello! Can't access that, I don't think. Alright. If I was a hammer, where would I have fallen? The hammer's gotta be somewhere close by. It looks like this. Sir, I know what a hammer looks like, okay? And I know how to search bushes. This isn't my first Paper Mario game. I've broken the rules. I've sequence broken. Um, ooh, I will take all the coins, though. And I, I should probably save. Lord knows whenever anything bad is gonna happen to me. Um, ooh, we got a twofer! Let's see. Oh, Josh, your pasta's done. It's about time. You found the hammer! Mario can do the hammer attack now. You can smash a yellow block with this hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the block that's in our way. You can also use that hammer to hit trees and make them sway sometimes. Stuff will fall out of them, occasionally. 
You can use it by pressing the B button. Um, I do not have the Nintendo 64 style controller. This is just the regular Switch Pro controller, uh, which I enjoy. <laughs> All right. I also appreciate that I've just completely stolen this guy's hammer. I, I didn't give it back to him. I'm the one who's going to be doing all the work here. Let me go and hammer all of my trees and make some money because I'm going to want to buy some things and stuff eventually. This is a, an RPG style game. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Have I searched everything sufficiently? Sorry. No need to apologize. Just refrain from that in the future. Oh, we got coins! Josh, I deadass started before you started streaming. It took you that long to make pasta? Um, because C buttons are used a lot in this game. I don't know how C buttons are mapped. You got the dolly, an adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. Well, now. I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know? It almost makes one feel like looking around everywhere. Sounds like the precursor to a fetch quest if I ever heard one. Well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should be heading for home. Okay. Oh, ouch! Oh, did you run into Francisca von Karma and get whipped in the face? This happened- Oh, hello, who are you? Yo, who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots! Nobody sets foot in here without my permission, nobody! Prepare to start out crying at the feet of Master Junior Chupa! Mar- oh, <laughs> I like that little thing, he's like, I'm gonna get ya! Mario, this is Junior Chupa- oh, sorry, you're talking. Mario, this is Junior Chupa. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. A bit of a bully, obviously. You have gangs here? What kind of violent town is this? He's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip. Okay. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. Fantastic. Um, all right, well, let's test out our hammer, shall we? Can I, oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> it's not gonna make any difference. I don't have an action command yet. Is my old man gonna teach me how to do action commands? It would be helpful. Ah. Gotta stay hydrated for when I go and poison myself with alcohol in a couple of hours. All right, come on, Mario, you got this, right? Uh, I'm just getting warmed up, pal. This is this is truly riveting gameplay. Here, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do a jump. What do you think of that? Ho ho! Mario, you've almost got him. Keep it up. All right, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Trooper's special attack. Full power! Your pasta came out good. I'm so happy. Do you have garlic bread and meatballs? Because these are important things that I require when I have pasta. Oh, look at my star points! Mario, that was wonderful fighting! You got star points! You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Yeah, I'm used to that. You know, in fact, in Thousand Year Door, I also had an audience that cheered me on. I'm gonna- I feel like I'm gonna miss that in this game. I- It really feeds my ego, having a whole audience cheering me on. Chat, will you do that for the place of the fake audience in the game? Shoot! I was winning too! I'll be back, Mario! <clears throat> if you say so. I mean it! I'll be back! <laughs> Oh my god, I like his little, uh, persistent nature. He's kind of a cutie, isn't he? Um... Alright, well let me get the- Aw, oh, just a coin, really? That's fine. Alright, good sir! Let me get you out of- Oh, sorry! <laughs> Did not mean to hit you with the hammer. Uh, I will take this, though. You hit this block, your HP, that's heart points for you peasants that didn't know that. It's gonna fully recover! Pyro Demon Eye, he will be back. Be warned. Okay, got this. Gotta check a bush. This looks like a powerful brick. Can't really break that yet. Um, what's over here? Block. Can we go oh, up here? 
Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Oh, we got a fire flower! Okay, cool. You got an item! Alright, I do know how items work. Oh, oh, there's the sea stick. Haha, -ha, I cannot use it out of battle. That's fine. I feel like, you know what guys, I feel like this is gonna go really well. Since I did Thousand Year Door on my channel, I'm a seasoned Paper Mario player. I think I'm gonna breeze through this. Hold me to that. <laughs> All right, if these Goombas see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or a hammer, you'll get the first strike. Oh, Gramps, listen, I'm nine steps ahead of you. I've been doing first strikes for years at this point. Watch this, oh, <laughs> just kidding, don't watch it. <laughs> Um, all right, let's knock him out. No, Mario, you have to block these things. That's the tea! Can we talk about how your taste in video games is immaculate? You mean the fact that I play almost exclusively Nintendo? I think that's what a lot of people refer to as, like, being a bitch. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> like, I don't know if I can actually use the real term and call myself a real gamer, because I don't play the hardcore games. I don't have no PS5, I'll tell you that. Oh, I wanted to get my hammer out. I didn't do a very good job. Yeah, 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 dude. I know to not jump on the spiked enemies, all right? <laughs> I appreciate you looking out for me. Emil! Hi, George. Just tuned in. Can't wait to see your adventure through this masterpiece. Really adore the storytelling of this game and Thousand Year Door. Nice. Uh, let me hit this guy again. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you enjoy the adventure. It's been a hoot and a half. God, we've been playing for almost an hour. I think... I think like, um... One of you guys said in the chat, if we can get through the prologue, I think that'll be pretty, pretty cool. But I don't know how long the prologue is, I guess, is the, <laughs> that's the issue. All right, listen up, Mario. The enemy's flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. All right. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to help. But have you guys ever been in this situation in the real world where somebody, they mean well, and they're trying to help, but um, they're just giving you unsolicited advice that's neither helpful nor wanted? <laughs> and you're just like, you don't want to come across as like a douche, so you want to listen to them, but you're also like, okay, you can stop now. You're allowed to. Man, I'm running low on health. It's a little hard to keep my health up when I can't block any attacks, though. Alright, I will take these hearts. Uh, and is there something we can do back here? Pardon me, pardon me. Oh, one of these days I'm gonna get the first strike. Ah, it's fine. It's fine, we're gonna- we're gonna survive, I think. I pray to Christ that I don't die in the prologue of the game. I would like this coin. Thank you very much. Anything in here? Coin. And then- Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I was robbed. That was just gravity taking over. Can I hit this mushroom? It just... it looks... highly suspicious. Guess not. Alright. Let me make my way back over here and let me carefully... pick this up. Uh, Camillo, you are correct. I have moved the chat to the actual screen. Um, it's my first time doing so, so if it's too small or too awkward or just looks ugly, I'll have to learn how to do it prettier. <laughs> but, uh, this was a first step for me. And I did it because Paper Mario is a game that doesn't- it's not a widescreen game, so I had some extra space and I was like, what should I do with this? I was like, I should be like a real streamer. Um... Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back all right. Great. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Hello, children. I've returned. The adult in your life. Goompa, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both you and the veranda were just plain gone. No, I'm not a, a complete moron, so I didn't walk outside and fall down to the ground. I don't know what kind of idiot would do something like that. I just looked, but you know, I was still shocked. Goompa, I was very worried about you, really worried. 
Sorry, kids, I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now! Before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Oh no, I've been left alone with kids. <laughs> huh? Hey, that doll you've got, that's one, uh, the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? <laughs> what happens if you say no? Do you just, like, get called a dirtbag? Like, <laughs> I can't be evil to a child. There you go, girl. You can have your peach doll. It's my dolly! You're back! Thank you so much! Do... Here's a fun story, speaking of dolls and, and children that play with idols. Do you guys remember, since we're in the Christmas season, there was a, um... There was a Hannah Montana doll that was a holiday doll, and it sang the song Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, and on the line that it said, Later we'll have some pumpkin pie. The audio of the doll was a little bit janky, as dolls sometimes are, and it sounded like, Later we'll have some fucking pie. <laughs> and so, this Hannah Montana doll was accused by, like, some Karens, some vintage Karens, like, early 2000s Karens, before we called them Karens. They got their, uh, panties in a bunch over this Hannah Montana doll because the audio sounded a little bit like the word effing. Even though it was clearly pumpkin pie, because, I mean, she was singing the song. It was just bad audio, and they, uh, really had a field day over that. Here's a present for me! Look at the pretty glitter! Thanks. Oh, and take this, too. Oh, girl, please- Oh, did you see Mario glitch out there? That was weird. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? Well, <laughs> I don't mean to brag. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Give them a flex. I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goomba. And I also exercise every day, so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Oh, are you? How big? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Well, you, the fuck boy has entered the chat. <laughs> Yeah, Kumbario's head is hard as a rock now. Oh! Hey girl, same. <laughs> when he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. That's what the boys tell me as well, actually. Uh, be quiet, Kumbario, you're embarrassing me! Of course, it is true. There it is, we love a humble king. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goompa. We were just rapping with Mario. <laughs> Cosmetology Corner. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. It's our first badge, boys. We got badges back. I like that. How am I going to use a badge if I can't use an action command, though? This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you are wearing the badge. Okay, I understand. You better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. And you did walk off of a balcony, I'm sorry, a veranda earlier. So you don't strike me as the type that, like, understands things very clearly. <laughs> so would you like a quick lesson on how to use badges? No, I'm actually well versed in this, thank you. <laughs> you better listen. <laughs> It's like, Jesus Christ, dude, I did see you fall off the veranda. I, I, I don't know if you can handle it. I'm gonna be fine. Alright, I trust you. Power jump adds two damage. Okay. Now remember, you need flower points. I do remember how flower points work. This is all, this is all very much Thousand Year Door-like, which I love. I feel right at home. I feel in my comfort place. God, I love that game so much. I'm a little sad that CRISPR isn't gonna be here. So, um, if any of you guys have watched Thousand Year Door, can we pay a little bit of respect to CRISPR, my absolute favorite Paper Mario character? You're taking it upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Mm hmm Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Oh, hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. 
Should serve you well if I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage too. But the years have started to weigh on me though. Oh, my achy breaky back. Adventure? Oh, you're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventure too someday. Me too. Oh, here's an idea, Goombario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child and the evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go, Goomba? May I really go? Um, sir, you should be asking me if you can go. Yes! Oh yes, Mario, you're not gonna regret this! Goombario joined your party. All right, I guess we're gonna have him. <laughs> Press the down button to have him tell you about people, places, and things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. He's my new Goombella! Goombario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with his head bonk, or he can tell you about an enemy's features with his tattle ability. Yes! Way to go, Goombario! Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes. Have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. And I don't want to cry. I'm just gonna go beat the missus. Wait, what? Never mind. Ugh. Hey, bro, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. Listen, don't tell me how to live my life, but I am gonna do exactly that, actually. All right. <laughs> Let's take a nap. Excuse me, can I sleep here? Yes, please. Let me take a nap. Goombario is the old Goombella, not the new one. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I feel you. Did you sleep well? Great, now get the heck out of here. All right. Let's go smash this brick, shall we? Oh, actually, let's save first. <laughs> also, there's a tree over here. Is there anything in it? Oh! You got the Goom Nut! Oh! A special nut found only in Goomba Village. It restores 3 FP. I feel like I probably should have taken this tree to dinner first, but you know what? That's fine. Um, hey, buddy, I'm gonna break this for you. How do you feel about that? There we go! Problem solved! I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed you aren't wearing the badge Koompa gave you. You know, that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. I think you'd better go put that thing on before you go- Thank you for reminding me, I totally- <laughs> I totally did forget that. Uh, badges. Let's turn her on. Why don't we? Alright. Beware of Goombas! Oh! Hang on, let me get my first strike. There we go. First, first strike of the game, boys. Mark it down. It's happened here. And that's just the, be the, uh, that's gonna be the first of many. Hey, Mario. During a battle, you can change the order we attack with the Z button. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? Hey, right, is that this button? It is. Okay. Yeah, let's let you, uh, take the lead on this one. Oh, I should have tattled! Shoot! That's okay, I'm sure we're gonna see another Goomba. For me. Um. Alright, let's tattle this time. Get three Goom Nuts? Do I need three Goom Nuts? This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey wait, I'm one of them! Max HP is 2, attack power is 1, and defense power is 0. You can jump on them or whack them with your hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. Fourth wall breaking. Oh, and now we can see their health. There we go. That's the reason I like to tattle these guys. You gotta- I need to know how much health people have. David Mahone! Hello! Oh my god, I left my last meeting of the day to find a Goomba. You have. And I'm happy that you're here. I'm also happy that Awesome Ocelot is here. Uh, we're just uh, cruising through this right now, actually. We're gonna try to get through the prologue. I don't know if we're gonna make it happen because someone, one of you guys told me that it takes like a person who knows what they're doing about 30 minutes, which means it's probably gonna take me significantly longer and I don't have significantly longer. Um, all right, let me go get another Goom Nut. I've, I've been given a tip 
And it's probably for the best that I follow the advice of this tip. All right, so that's two. I'll get one more. If you remembered, Goombella broke the fourth wall even more. Um, she did like to do that a lot. Goombella was such a champion of a character. I love the characters that give me my information and my lore. I'm a scientist. These are the things I have to learn about. Oh, now we gotta refight these guys, though. That's a little unfortunate. Oh, this is wrong. I gotta practice my strategy. I should have power jumped the other guy. It's gonna take me a second to, like, reassess my strategy, but I'm gonna get there. Alright, I know how to fight the enemies. <laughs> I promise. It's gonna be okay. I'm, I'm a little bummed that I can't do action commands, though. <laughs> That's definitely a, a, a wee bit unfortunate. Alright, got some... Oh! I did not see him there. Alright, let's, uh... We're not gonna be able to do this in one turn anyway, so let's not waste the FP. It's fine. Is this a blind playthrough? I am describing it as a blind-ish playthrough, in the sense that I've played this game technically before, like when I was an actual real-life child. Uh, I am very vague on remembering the details, so like, what happens from chapter to chapter is a little bit lost on me, but uh, I've played Thousand Year Door, so I'm obviously familiar with the gameplay mechanics of the game, and I am aware that the general plot is Bowser has kidnapped Peach, travel to Bowser's world, and get Peach back. <laughs> so, um, unless there's any crazy plot twists aside that are gonna th really throw me through a loop, I think I'll be a-okay. Alright. Oh, Goombario, we got a new thing for you to tattle. This is a Paragoomba. Obviously Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. Max HP is 2, attack power is 1, and defense power is 0. You can't hit them with the hammer while they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. Yes. Alright, let's kill this one. I like that the uh, clouds in the background are on uh, little strings. <laughs> it's got that nice, like, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 vibe. <laughs> uh, see, the aesthetic is so charming. Let me Let me take the time to talk about this again. I really love the aesthetic of this and Thousand Year Door, and even Super Paper Mario, where uh, it was like these 2D sprite images and, and, in like this 3D world, and it was very cute. Going after that game, though, the Nintendo decided like Paper Mario, instead of being the storybook adventure, should really be like a Super Mario game that has a paper aesthetic. And they like went way above and beyond with the paper aesthetic, which does look nice. I'm not saying it doesn't, but it's just... I don't know. It, it, it's too much about looking like paper and not enough about like what I wanted it to be. Ah, oh, Mario, you're a little bit slow with this hammer, actually. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Um, all right, tattle this for me. Uh, this is a spiky Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Max HP is two, attack power is two, and defense power is zero. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes or you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. Okay, let's take out... Hmm. Let me hammer this one. Go! Oh. oh no. I've seemed to have gotten myself into a little bit of trouble, haven't I? Let's switch orders. Let's put you back here. Yes. And then let's uh, get rid of this guy. Oh, but they don't stay in the order that I want them to stay in. Also, my partners don't have health in this game. Interesting. I might actually die here. <laughs> you know, if you guys could drop some hearts, that would actually be really delightful. Ooh, what's this? A close call badge. When Mario's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. That sounds useful. Because I'm in danger, actually! David Mahone, the tattle dialogue in this game isn't as entertaining as Tippy's. I don't think I tattled enough things with Tippy. I tattled everything with Goombella, or at least as close to everything as I could have gotten. When your HP gets low, eat a mushroom. Well, my HP is pretty low. So, um... And it looks like there's another enemy here, so I might need this, actually. <laughs> 
Perfect. All right, now let's see if I can get the first strike. Come here, buddy. Come here. It's fine. It's fine. Come on. Yes. Yes. Partners taking damage means they lose one turn per damage that they take. Josh Scott, dropping the hearts. Aw, thank you for the love, my friend. Whoa, there's three of these guys. All right, listen, this, we're, I'm not playing softball anymore. I'm going for the power jump. Goodbye, my friend. We got to take two of these guys out immediately. I don't have the health to spare here. And I'm all out of water. All right. <clears throat> Let's take out this boy. Let me just bop along to this battle music. All right. Hey, we're getting close to a level, kind of, sort of. That'll be useful. Now, how much farther do I have to travel? Ah, oh, of course there was a thing right here. What a waste of a mushroom that was. That'll happen sometimes. Uh, Vincent! Hello! Welcome to the chat! You say yes! Best game, one of my favorites. I'm glad you like it. Uh, hey! Hold it right there! You! Yeah, you! Suspicious guy! Don't move! Oh! Oh, huh. You're Mario, I knew it! Oh, you can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot! It's a direct order from the Goomba King, that's right! Sorry, but The only way by is through the Goomba Bros! That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba! Let's get him, Blue Goomba! Oh, yeah! Well, let's do it, my Red Brother! Oh, jeez. What did I get myself into? Um... Alright, Goombario, tell me about these boys. Let's start with the blue guy. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP is 6, attack power is 1, and defense power is 0. As you heard in his little speech, he is one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. I'd like to understand the genetics of how one of these Goombas is blue and the other is red. My immediate guess is that we've got an issue with, um... Some different parents. Maybe some different fathers. Maybe the mother got around a little bit with some multicolored Goombas. I don't know. Or maybe it's like a dominant recessive thing. Mario! Oh, Mario! Oh, how'd you like some of this? Not very much, actually. Alright, why don't you tattle... Red Goomba. Jade Dove, remember that fire flower? Oh yeah, I guess I could use that here. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba bros. Max HP is 7, attack power is 1, and defense power is 0. The Goomba King ordered him to try to stop you. You can take this guy, no prob. He has a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. He does have quite a bit, actually. That's fine. Well, we can take this guy out immediately, so I'm not too concerned about that. There we go. Oh, how do you feel about that? I just killed your bro. Blue Goomba! Oh, my little brother! You're gonna pay for that, Mario! Oh, he's crying. Okay, it's fine. Um, oh, I don't have enough for another power jump. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't think my plan all the way through, didn't I? Genetic mutation for hemoglobin? What does hemoglobin have to do with the Goombas? <laughs> Uh oh. Alright, it's fine. I've got more health than him. I think we're gonna be okay. I truly do. I gotta scratch my foot. <laughs> You're fine, Mario. Shake it off. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> this battle's going nowhere. Flare Flower does three damage to all enemies. It's supposed to use it twice. You are correct, but I gotta be conservative with my items. I might get ambushed by more than two enemies at some point. And then I might have to hit them all. <laughs> all right, go run away, boys. You're fine. That's honestly, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably one of my weaknesses in these like RPG games. I like to uh, play very conservatively with items, which I shouldn't do. Because I'll get a lot of items that I'll end up literally never using. Um... And it's just because I'm always afraid of, like, wasting an item. But then if I never use the item, that is kind of wasting the item. These items are meant to be used.
this is true that red is the color of our blood because of hemoglobin. And um, here, here's a fact you can become learned on because it always used to piss me off when I was a science teacher. You do not have blue blood in your body. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, people are always like, did you know, fun fact, that the blood inside of your body is blue? And then they'll like show their veins and they'll be like, look, you can see blue veins. And it's like, no, dude, that's not how it works, okay? All of the blood in your body is red, even deoxygenated blood, because that's the thing. We hear about oxygenated blood as being this like really bright red color because the oxygen binds to the hemoglobin and you get that red color. So people think deoxygenated blood is blue because it is colored that way in like textbooks. Like your bi biology textbook will color deoxygenated blood blue, but that's not how it works in real life. Deoxygenated blood in your actual body is very, very dull red. It's almost closer to black than it is to blue. And you can literally see it if you've ever like donated blood and watched blood be taken out of your body and like put into a blood bag. It looks like that deep, deep, dark red. It's not that bright, vibrant red, but it's like a deep, dark red. It's not blue. It's not this bright, vibrant blue. My goodness. Eat a mushroom. Gets oh, I've been tricked. But I got the first strike. All right, I'm sorry. That was a bit of a rant. And one of my favorite animals is the uh, horseshoe crab. They have blood that is actually blue, for real. Alright, it's okay Mario, you keep hanging in there, you're gonna be great. Oh, look at that badge coming in handy! I am lucky! This is fantastic. We've made it all, oh, and we get hearts too. We are, we are phenomenal boys. What's up here? Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Is this gonna be our first boss? King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Josh Scott. Yeah, it was wild. When I got tested, some of us, uh, for some things using blood, the blood was very dark. It was kind of creepy. Hey, look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Close call badge gives a 33% dodge rate when in danger. That's actually, I, I feel like 33% is actually pretty good. All right, there used to be a bridge, but it's not there anymore. Interesting. All right, we're at like an hour and 20 minutes. I think I might be able to do whatever this thing is with the Goomba King. Whoa. He's got a little bit of a lazy eye, doesn't he? <sighs> I can't be tired. I have to go out tonight. <clears throat> so, Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you're going to get. Because I, the great and powerful Goomba King, will see to it that you advance no further. You hear that, Mario? Not a step further, not one step! Are you scared, little man? <laughs> yeah! Oh, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're real sorry. Wow. That King Goomba is really huge. God, he has such a big head. Listen. It's a challenge, and it's a challenge I'm going to accept. That's the spirit, Mario. He's no match for you. Let's get him! Can you guys hear the dog barking in the background? <laughs> Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You better be. I don't own a dog, but su a surprisingly high number of my neighbors own dogs. Well, I guess it's not too surprising. They're man's best friend. How are you gonna not? Beat him up, King Goomba. Yeah, we've got your back. Leave him to me. Okay, but first, can I tattle him? Hey, Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. This is why you're the thinker, Goombario. But before I do that, can you tattle my guy? This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. Max HP is 10, attack power is 1, and defense power is 0. He's the boss of the red Goomba and the blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to be a big hitter too. Yes, um, okay. Let me, ha I can't hammer the guys in the back, actually. Oh, but I can hammer the Goomnut tree. 
Oh, it's got a little band-aid on it, doesn't it? All right. Oh, and I see there's a goom nut above my guy's head. Why don't we do that? We can probably hit him with it. Do you think it'll fall? Yes. Oh, oh, and we can take out the Goomba Bros too. Oh, what a perfect scenario. Oh, okay. I guess I probably deserved that one. It's fine though, because you know what I can do? I can do a power jump. Get wrecked. All right, this is, this is fine. We're gonna be okay, I think. I think we have enough health. As long as he only does one damage. Oh, and we're lucky. Now we've got it in the bag. No one's gonna stop me. Beautiful. Oh, okay. I guess we can't get lucky every time. Music is about up. Oh, and we've hit a level up. Perfect. All right, now what things do I want to level up? Obviously, if this, if this is anything like Thousand Year Door, I think I'm really big on moves, which is a little bit different. I think a lot of players and people who play Thousand Year Door, I think they're really big on badge points. I'm not the biggest on using badges. I know I should probably be bigger, but I, I love using moves. So I think FP is probably where I'm gonna wanna start. And, and I probably just am gonna cycle through these things, honestly. As, as the need arises. Oh, how could I lose? Sorry, <laughs> checking my phone. Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool, victory. We've done a good today, you guys. Can I hit this tree? Is there anything hiding in it? Whoops. Star piece, that's perfect. Uh, were there any other trees I missed in here? No, but there's a bush. Okay, any other secrets? Can I go in here? Red Goomba, you're positive that you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hid it in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the- You idiot! You didn't hide it in here. Mario's gonna find it for sure. Oh, do you think? You know, you might be right, actually. King Goomba, maybe we ought to try and trick Mario before he tries to hit it. Is it in here? Oh, sure enough. Look at his little face. My king. Oh, uh, Mario. You know, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, you understand. Wait, you what? You already pressed it. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no. Have we destroyed his castle? Oh, 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 we really have actually. <laughs> there goes the roof. Oh my God, the windows. They're just like on like stickers, <laughs> real holes. Oh, how did you get up there? Okay, we've built a bridge. I am satisfied with the work that we've gotten done today. Look, the bridge! Now we can cross it and continue on our journey. All right! Yeah, let's do that. What happened to the red and blue Goombas, though? I guess I'll never know. Any secrets in this tree? Coin. I'll take it. Any secrets in this grass? No. All right, I guess we're moving on here. Hi, hunty. You keeping tabs on me? You shouldn't have. Um, ooh, save and continue, save and quit, continue without saving. Uh, this might actually be a place where I save and quit, to be totally honest, since the prompt is up and we are right about uh, on time at like 5.30. And again, I have to get changed and start making my drive out to Rochester pretty soon. So, um, I'm sorry I can't be around longer, but I feel like we've gotten a nice satisfactory start to the game. Um... I hope you guys will join me for the next stream where we will do more things and stuff. I don't think I will be able to stream tomorrow because um, Saturday is also a busy day for me. I have two holiday parties and I normally take Saturdays off anyways. So with that being the case, I might try to stream on Sunday. I am having people over Sunday night, so I don't think I'll be able to do a 7 o'clock stream, but I might do another 4 o'clock stream. So same time as this on Sunday and then... Starting on Monday, I'll be back to, I think, probably streaming at 7 o'clock or whatever. So I'll keep you updated on, like, Twitter or something. But tentatively, 
My anticipation is that the next time you will see me here, if you guys want to join me for more of this Paper Mario adventure, will be Sunday at 4 o'clock. Eastern time. Which is my time, which is the same time that this stream started. I hope you guys will join me, though, because, oh my god, I'm so excited for this game. This is cute and charming and adorable. And, um... Paper Mario is just such a vibe. This is, like, what I'm built on now, is playing these little Mario RPG games. <laughs> so please do check back in. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a very good Friday night. I hope you stay safe, and I hope you have some kind of enjoyment in activities over the weekend. All right? Toodles, boys!